This is high intensity. I was shocked when I first started using this. This goes up to a level three, and I'll be completely honest with you, I've only made it to level two. And I can already see the difference. I've used it twice, and I don't use it on this side of my forehead because this eyebrow has a natural lift. So I was using it on this side, and I can already see that this eyebrow is lifting, and the hood in my eye is already starting to go away. And like I said, I've only used this twice. So that's why I'm really excited to share this with you today. I'm Joan Johnson, and this is Beauty Over 50 on a Budget, where I do body sculpting, body contouring, and sprinkle in a little bit of anti-aging and skincare. If this has sparked your interest, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every week. Okay, what is HiFu? HiFu is high intensity focused ultrasound. It's fast and effective for lifting the face. It can also be used in body contouring. It targets the subcutaneous fat. So when you're doing it on your face, you wanna make sure that you're not using it too much in areas that you don't want to lose fat in your face because it can it can get rid of the fat so that's why it works so well in body contouring so this is actually a four-in-one so this is high intensity focused ultrasound radio frequency LED light blue and LED light red the high intensity ultrasound the HIFU goes through the subcutaneous fat into the fascia, all the way through the subcutaneous into the fascia. So it actually reaches a temperature of a 65 Celsius. The radio frequency heats the deep layer of the dermis. So this is the picture of the RF therapy and the LED light. So these are the specs. Or the HIFU. You also need a conductive medium anytime you use a device like this. The conductive medium that I'm using today is from 7E Wellness and it's a Restore Anti-Aging Ultrasound Gel. So this has hyaluronic acid and peptides in it and it's anti-aging. So I really like this. I'll also be using a little spatula to apply the ultrasound gel. And when I'm all done doing my HIFU, I'm going to lay under my LED light for 20 minutes. It's really important that you not wash your face for 20 to 30 minutes after you do a HIFU treatment because you don't want your skin to cool off so fast because that's what it's doing. It's heating up the deep layer in the dermis and causing it to produce collagen. There's a few ways that you can use this. I'm gonna go over both of them with you today. There's the, the stamping where you put it on and it, and it goes for four seconds and then you move it and you keep it in one spot and, it move, and then you move it after four seconds. And then there's the glide where you glide it for four seconds and then move it and then glide it. I like to use both of them in one treatment. I like to do the stamping all over my face and then I go back over it with the glide. So to operate it, here's the power button. You just press and hold it, and it powers it up. Then this is the gear button, it levels it up. And like I said, I've only been able to make it to level two. And then to get it to run, you just press the power button again. And then to power it off, you just press and hold the power button again and it powers off. Marked off some areas that I'm not gonna be doing the, the HIFU on. You never wanna do the HIFU over your temple or your larynx or your throat. So these areas are off limits right here. So I'll just be going all over my face and my neck, but not over my throat or my temples. You can either put the ultrasound gel directly on the HIFU or you can put it on your skin. And I just like to put it on my skin. So there again, you just press and hold and that turns it on and it automatically defaults to level one. And then press this again and it'll go to level two 
and then level three. There's two ways that you can do it. You can do the sweeping or you can do the stationary stamping and that's what I'm gonna do right now is the stamping. So that's not too bad. That one kind of hurt. You can feel it going in. So it feels like a laser going in and at the last second is when it gets really hot to me. That's a lot more sensitive towards the back part of my neck than it is the front part of my neck. I don't know why. I'm gonna do right here. Again, I'm not gonna go over my throat, but I'm gonna do this space right here under my chin. That's pretty warm. You can really feel it. I can really feel it on the fourth beep. That's when it feels like it gets really hot. Yeah, the fourth. I'm going to have to turn it down. I'm surprised at how powerful this little device is. So I just went all around my jawline. Now I'm going to start going up my cheeks. I'm going to leave it on level two. I'm just going across and up. Yeah, that's really sensitive on my upper lip. I'm just doing right here, but that was that was really hot. Okay, so I've I've done this whole cheek right through here and my upper lip. So now I'm going to do my forehead. They say that the the skin on the forehead is thicker, so I'm going to try it on level 3 and see it, how it feels on my forehead. This, I, I'm not going to do this side because I have a natural lift on this side. I want this eyebrow to be lifted. And I have a little bit of a hood on this eye, but I don't on this eye. So I'm not going to do any haifu on this side of my forehead, only this side. This is really powerful. I am shocked that this at-home device is so powerful. It's getting really hot not so bad in the center but to the sides it's really hot yeah this is really a powerful little device so I'm really hoping that I can get this lifted so I'm gonna turn it down to a two because seriously it's hot so I'm gonna go back over my eyebrow because I want that lift okay so I've done this side of my forehead and this side of my face and my neck so now I'm gonna do this side and like I said, I'm not going to do this side of my forehead because I don't want, I want this eyebrow to lift, but I don't want this eyebrow to lift anymore because it has that natural lift. So I'm going to leave it on two because seriously, this hurts. <laughs> yeah, two is even uncomfortable. Okay, so I've gone all over my face one time with the stamping mode. So now I'm gonna do the sweeping mode. And I'm gonna leave it on level two because seriously, this is powerful. So you just push down the power button and then sweep it. There 
Again, don't go over your thyroid or your throat. I have to say that the sweeping is a lot more tolerable than the stationary. It does go a lot quicker with the sweeping for sure. They say that you should leave, let your skin cool down. Don't, I'm not gonna wash my face for at least 30 minutes. I will lay under my LED light for about 20 minutes and then I will rinse my face off with tepid water. So I'm all done. I laid under my LED light for 20 minutes and I washed everything off my face. So now I'm gonna do cleanup. So how I'm going to clean my Haifu is I'm just gonna take some rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and then I'm just gonna clean all the ultrasound gel off. I have noticed that alcohol cuts right through ultrasound gel and it just cleans up so nicely using it. So now it's all cleaned up and it's ready to go for next time. Everything I used in this video has links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.